Hey guys, welcome to Live More Tech. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to create your own Kindle ebook cover. Hey guys, welcome to Live More Tech. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to create your own Kindle ebook cover. Uh, it's something that we've been doing lately. We've created a couple of, of ebooks for Amazon, some some fun stuff just to get up there and, and kind of play around with. And creating a cover is, is pretty important, as you can probably imagine. It's going to be the first thing that that somebody sees, other than you know description and the content of your book. They're going to see that cover. So uh, making your own is pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. I, I've done a few already, and I just wanted to kind of walk you through uh, a couple of. Uh, a couple of different ways that you can you can get this done. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Okay, well, one uh, very easy way to do this is to not do it yourself and to uh, uh, use one of the many sites and many places out there that'll make one for you. Uh, through my research, I've found this... Uh, that Fiverr is actually a pretty popular place for people to go and get book covers done. Um, I guess one of the best parts about it is it's it's only five bucks. So, you know, I haven't used them. Uh, I'm sure, you know, just from looking at some of these images, it looks like some guys can do some pretty pretty good work out there. Like I said, I can't vouch for the site other than I know it's relatively well used and um, and for five bucks you can get a cover. But um, for me, I'm a bit of a tweaker and I like to have a little more control over what I'm doing. And uh, I've kind of uh, decided to do these myself. So it doesn't take very long. It's pretty easy to do but there's a couple things you need to know so the first thing is um, using some images so if you have your own images that you've created whether you want to use photos that you've you've taken yourself or stuff that you've drawn an illustrator or what have you uh, feel free what we need to be careful of is is just downloading random Im images off the internet and using those on a kindle ebook if this is something you're republishing then you probably don't have rights to that photo so one way that i've found or one site that i found some sort of a stock photo system or stock photos and Dollar Photo Club, uh, again, from the minimal research I've done, seems to be a pretty good site. They've got tons of photos. The cool part about it is, is all the photos are a buck. And when you sign up for the um, their platinum membership or whatever it's called, VIP membership, yeah, it's 100 bucks, but you get 100 photos, free images with it or free downloads. So it's still a buck a photo. And then when you run out, I think it's still a dollar a photo. So a lot of other places I've, I found, like iStock Photo and other places or other stock photo sites, um, the images were, you know, a couple, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars, ten dollars, twelve dollars. So uh, maybe bigger, maybe better quality. Um, but really, for what we're doing here, these uh, uh, these have seem, seem to be working out pretty good. So, so uh, I highly recommend Dollar Photo Club. The other thing we need to remember is the sizing, so the formatting of, of what Kindle allows. Um, a couple of key factors, you know, you can check it out yourself, but the, the main key thing that I wanted to find out was what are the size requirements. So it says right here under the, the, the Kindle publishing, for best quality, your image should be 2,500 pixels on the longest side, and it should be a ratio, a height weight width ratio of 1.6. So 2,500 is what I shoot for on the long side or the height of the book. And then if I dividing, dividing that by 1.6 gives me around 1,500 and some odd pixels. So, so that's the first bit of information. So let's jump in. Uh, I'm going to use Photoshop. And I've actually created a very simple template that I use for a book cover. And all that's doing is setting up my 1,562 by 2,500. So there's my 1 1.6 ratio, um, 72 resolution. And we can call it whatever we want, test, and there's my cover format. So I've uh, downloaded a couple of photos, but I'm just going to drag a photo into here. And we'll size it. This is going to be pretty quick and straightforward, but just goes to show you. Let's maybe bring it down to here. Okay. Um, now here's an example of where I can maybe do some simple color some blending. Obviously, you know, if you luck out and you get a picture that's even bigger than the overall, you can crop it and use that picture and just put text over top. But a lot of times you're going to end up with a picture that doesn't quite fit the whole cover and you got to find a way to, to fill it up with something else. So this one's kind of nice because I've got a blue here and a green here. So I can just kind of, uh, again, I'm not a Photoshop wizard, but <laughs> I found just by creating a rectangle and kind of maybe dragging it into place here, we can make it our width that'll cover. Um, if I select my color like so, then I can select my color from recently used. There's my green on the bottom. I'll do the same for the top of the blue. Okay, I'm going to try to get into place so we fill up. Oh, not quite. If I drag this down, it'll be behind. 
this isn't a Photoshop tutorial, guys. Uh, you, you, you probably are better at Photoshop than I am, but this is a relatively quick way that I've been able to get it done. So we'll go to our color chooser, and I've selected that color previously, so I had it in here. Now we can add our, our text and titles. Uh, this is where you can, you know, you can obviously continue to be creative, as creative as you like. You can pick your colors you want, um, font, whatever. So we'll call this uh, my new book. All right, we can play with our text size. I'll drag it down here. I can see where everything's at. So the world is your oyster now. Um, really, the key, you get your title up, uh, maybe a subtitle. And don't forget your name. Your name is always important. We want to know, uh, people want to know who's writing the book. Okay, I'll bring this up so we can actually see it. It's in front. And put in our... Subtitle. And that's about it. So at this point, like I said, you can be as creative as possible. Make sure your cover, uh, you really you do want your cover to be as big as possible. You want it to stand out at least and look like, uh, look like it's important and looks good. Maybe give it some more space. Uh, another thing that I found, just a simple way to kind of make stand out, text stand out, is I use the, the drop shadow. It's, uh, if you, like I said, if you use photo, ever use Photoshop, then you know how to use drop shadow. But it does uh, make it stand out nicely and gives it a kind of a nice out outline. So, uh, and again, you can play with these parameters as much as you want. So that's it. Um, Again, pretty quick, pretty straightforward. Obviously, this is kind of this is very creative. So it's 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 up to you to jump in and, and get as creative as you want. But really, what I wanted to show you was uh, I am not a Photoshop wizard. Uh, I don't know all the bells and whistles in here. But within a couple of minutes, you can uh, download some some interesting stock photos and you know get in your text, get in your name, get in your sub content, make it look kind of pretty. Uh, the sizes are important, so you want that 1.6 ratio um, and 2,500 pixels on the long side is the important size to, to get it or the important uh, one to remember and uh, save it out as a JPEG so once you're done here we would save as you can save the, the PSD file if you're using Photoshop so you can go back and edit it later but uh, save it out as a JPEG um, to your desktop and when you upload your your ebook you can upload your cover with it and it should show up pretty good so that's about it again quick a quick tutorial on how to create a cover it's a lot of fun to play around with and uh, like I said you can use a five or other sites and pay a few bucks and have someone do it for you but you know if you've got Photoshop already or if you've got GIMP or some sort of photo editing program um, in it within a couple of minutes and, and uh, you know a dollar photo for example you can have your own cover so enjoy good luck and have fun see ya <music>